Hi, welcome to DIY. So I've kind of realized that I've shot myself in the foot by doing crafts around wine for wine because you know there's not really much you can do um, to make wine look pretty, especially since you're going to be getting messier as you go on drinking it. So what I've decided to do is branch out and do crafts with wine so we can see if you can do them while having Behind me is the wall, it's not just a prop, it's our uh, art space for today and what I have here is <clears throat> the Housewives spray can uh, which is the British Paints retouch. So the idea is that if you get a nick in your wall you can use the atomizer to just easily spray over any bumps but you can also use it as a really good alternative to a spray can to kind of do some urban art with a stencil. So what you get is this cool little glass jar and a paint atomizer and see that little tube in there that's what brings the paint out and just sprays it out so I'm gonna have a go at this one here's something you might not know about me I freaking love squirrels I love the little fluffy tails and you don't get to see them much in Australia so I think my artwork after them so obviously while I love squirrels I also love DIY so I've incorporated the whole thing into a little stencil art here Here's my squirrel holding a hot glue gun and I've got the saying do or DIY which I think is quite a cool play on words. So I'm going to spray this onto my wall which is a lovely yellow. All the stenciling and the hard parts are pretty boring to see in a video and it'll go for 20 minutes so I've put a link in the description below to the blog post that goes along with this and shows you how to make a really easy stencil. Mm -mm -mm. So the next step is to take your paint atomizer and your paint and kind of tip it in there, dilute it with a little bit of water so it's easy to come out. So I'm going to go do that now and you don't have to watch that because that's boring too. Just a little public safety announcement, don't shake the can. It's like those Instax cameras, you can't shake the pictures even though you want to. Don't shake the can or it won't work. Okay, so now we've got the paint in the jar and we're ready to stick the atomizer on and then give it a little spray. Okay, so I'm just going to get going with it. Um, I like to support my hand to make sure that you get a nice clean line. So I might get some paint on me, but that's fine. Just hold that in there because for some reason it won't stick down. Excuse the back of my head. Come on. Nice even spraying motion. You can see that it's getting in there. This is where my hand will get dirty. Whoa. Okay, sometimes you need to pause for a break because the um, it gets a little bit too cold. And we're done. We just need to wait for it to dry. I got a little paint on myself, so I'm going to go wash my hands and then I'll take this off. And there you have it. I like the little um, drippy bits. It works for a street art look, which is what I'm going for. But if you want a clean out line, just got to make sure that you really stick that stencil down and just use your long, slow lines. But I think it looks like a squirrel. It looks like I love to do DIY, so I'm happy with it. Now, I'm just going to stand back, uh, enjoy my artwork and drink a little bit of wine. Woohoo! It's amazing. It's amazing.